Ahoy mates, it's the Curse Captain here with a new advanced guide dedicated to helping you scurvy dogs farm those precious doubloons. So how do you become the master doublooner? Well lucky for you I have a few secrets to share, but before I do, if you've not yet heard, I have a goal to become a full-time content creator, but I cannot do that without your help. One of the best things you can do is hit that subscription button which helps me reach my goal of 50,000 subs by the end of the year, and if you enjoy watching live streams, consider checking me out over on Twitch, which is my new streaming home. Now with that being said, sit back, grab yourself a grog, because I'm about to share all the things that will change your life forever. Well, okay, maybe not that, but at least you'll know the best way to get those beautiful doubloons. Some of you swabbies are probably wondering, what are doubloons? They are another in-game currency that can be used to purchase a variety of time-limited items and other various things from Duke. Things like gold stashes, letter of recommendations that you can purchase to buy levels in any trading companies, skull stashes, ashen chest stashes, and even, yes, key stash voyages. Getting your scurvy hands on as many doubloons as possible will be something you'll want to know how to do. And as any good pirate, you will want to do it as fast as possible. We may be thieving pirates, but we are still efficient thieving pirates. Now, with that being said, there are multiple ways to get these beautiful blue coins, ranging from Bildrat Adventures, Reaper Chests, Ritual Skulls, and even the Maiden Voyage, if you have not yet done it already. For more information on where you can get those blooms and some extra gold, you can check my guide video out here. Before I go any further though, I want to point out doubloons are different than ancient coins. If you're looking for a farming guide on ancient skeletons, I've actually put together a video explaining how to do just that. One of the best ways to get doubloons is to do as many commendations as you can. With each update, Sea of Thieves gives us new challenges to complete, which reward those precious doubloons. I want to quickly point out though that in the Shrouded Spoils, there is a glitch that has not been fixed yet, talking about how you need to kill the Shrouded Ghost. This is a lie. The Shrouded Ghost is a lie. Don't believe it. Eventually, they will fix this and it will be removed from the game. But until then, ignore this completely. Now back to these commendations, even after an event ends, you can still collect the doubloons from the event if you achieve it, of course. So while you're out and about doing the other farming methods in this video, keep in mind the other commendations from the build rat adventures. The other way to get the blooms is through various items that you can turn in. At the time of making this video, you have tomes, keys, ashen chests, ritual skulls, and reaper chests. These items can be turned in for various amounts of doubloons. Ashen keys are worth five doubloons. Ashen chests are worth five doubloons. Rag and bone crates are worth five doubloons. Gifts to the masked stranger, depending on what gift you have, can be worth five or 10 doubloons. Ashen tomes are worth 10 doubloons each. Ritual skulls are worth 10 doubloons and reaper chests are worth 30 doubloons. For a quick reference on these items, in case you forget what they're worth, I've linked in the description below a chart that you can download for any future reference from my website. Now that we know what they are worth, the question is, how do we get them? Well, ash and keys you can find from key masters that spawn on various islands, and you can also fish them up. Ashen chests and tomes, these you can get from voyages from the ashen guardians that drop, and these ashen guardians can be found as well on various islands. You can also get these from Ashen Forts and Ashen Fleets. Also, I want to point out that to get the tomes, they are in these Ashen Chests, so make sure to look in them. Ritual Skulls, these beautiful looking skulls can be found from Ashen Fleets and even in Ashen Forts. Just look for the red skull or fleet in the sky. Rag and Bone Crates, these you will find randomly throughout the seas washed up on the shore, so keep an eye out for them. Gifts. These little gifts can be found in Ashen Forts from the letters from Skeleton Lords, and they too can be found randomly washed up on the shore. Now some tips here on how to farm these events efficiently. If you find yourself a key, yes, you can sell it for doubloons, but it's going to be a much better reward if you can use that key on an Ashen Chest. The reason why is Ashen Chests can have tomes in them, ritual skulls, doubloon pouches, and when you are all done, you can even sell the chest itself for doubloons. So as you are out and about doing those Bildrat commendations, you can be collecting keys, chests, and everything in between. Now last but certainly not least, we have the Reaper Chests. These chests are probably going to be the best way for you to farm 
different doubloons. The reason for that is you can just server hop around until you see those beautiful colors in the sky, set sail, pick the chest up, and turn it over at the Reaper's hideout. However, this method does bring a little bit of risk. If you don't know, Reaper chests can be seen on the map at all times. So if you decide to pick one up and have it on your ship, all the pirates on the seas will see that you have it and maybe decide to get some doubloons of their own. So just be a bit careful when you're turning these chests in and you will be just fine. Personally, for me, my favorite way is to just thieve them by stealing things. So if you're a bloodthirsty pirate like myself, maybe, just maybe, the best way to farm is to do what you love to do. I mean, they do call it the Sea of Thieves after all. What are some of the ways that you like to farm doubloons? Let me know in the comments below and thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you out on the seas.